It is an honor to be on this desk every day. It really is. But what we've just witnessed is the problem with this show, where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying, that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are, they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. You ju not, yes, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, you did. That I is did exactly not, what you implied, not, Kendrick Perkins. Not, that is exactly not, what you implied. I, I Secondly, not, hold on, did, hold on. I did not call. I stated the facts. I stated the facts. And you're not about to sit up We all know like what you implied the other day. We all know what you implied just now. Hold on. I stated it. It's the facts. One at a time. It's the facts. One at a time. It's the facts. It is. I think so basically, Adam, what, he, what Perkins was saying is that they're, it's, it's racist because it's, it's a white guy. What, is this the third time that he's going to win? Potentially. He's won two. The, uh, they're talking about the, Nikola Jokic, who's the, the center time, for Denver Nuggets. And he was, so he said, yeah, he said something along the lines in the, that. In the top three of the MVP race for the last three years, he won it the last two years running, and he's averaging a triple double this year. Yeah. And essentially, the storyline is that white voters prefer to vote for white MVPs <laughs> uh, over black players, black MVPs. Yeah. So, which the, to me, this is what J Day is like. JJ Reddick is basically like, dude, you're you're ridiculous. Yeah. Because and numbers. even if you said what Charles Barkley had to say, well, please. Charles Barkley went in on Kendrick Perkins. He says you suffer from ESPN disease. <laughs> okay. He you're, says basically you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're all caught up in this. You know how many white MVPs there have been in the last thirty years? How many? Okay, Five. I think I think Steve Nash won it twice. Yeah, Jokic has now won it twice, possibly a third time. And I think you got to go back to fucking like the Pistol late Pete, '80s Pistol to Pete, Larry Bird. Larry yeah. Bird. Larry okay, Bird. Uh, since then Kevin Durant, James Harden, LeBron, uh, K, uh, KD Harden, uh, Russell Westbrook, Giannis. Like the list goes on and on. So, you know, so what ten percent of the time a white guy wins the. By MVP. the way, here's what people have to realize. I don't think people realize JJ Redick is not. A Republican. No, he's JJ not. JJ Reddick is not a Trump guy. JJ Reddick trashed Trump just a few years ago, talking about the fact that waking up in the morning and having breakfast, you should wake up in the morning, have breakfast, and criticize Trump because that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Like, JJ is not, in this, it looks like, well, yeah, you know, he's a Republican, he's conservative, he's this. No, all he's saying is, dude, the hell you doing here man like and by the way mm -hmm. if if if, uh, if kendrick perkins wants to play the racist game why is the nba 70 percent black <laughs> tell me that why, why is the uh, nba 70 percent black mm -hmm. why while america is 13 percent black yeah. why is the nba 70 yeah, percent black yeah. why, why does the nba not have enough whites why, why, while america is 22 percent 23 percent hispanic why isn't the NBA have a lot of Jose's playing in it? Yeah. How come we don't? Right. How, come, right. how, come, how, come we, how come we don't have a Ricardo See. Aguilar starting? <laughs> uh, you know, three yeah. guard for yeah. freaking LA Clippers. How come yeah. we don't have that a lot? That's racist, yeah. right? Yeah. No, his logic doesn't make any sense. But by the way, you have to realize that to me, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. I go to ESPN to interview Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. I've been looking forward to interviewing Stephen A. Smith. While we're going out there, he knows this is, you know, I've done Magic, Kobe. I've done a lot of different things. ESPN comes up to me, and they're like, look, I just finished my interview with Ray Dalio. Mm -hmm. And they said, hey, Patrick, you can't talk to him about politics. ESPN's asked wow. me to cut the interview. Wow. I said, what do you mean? I'm just going to ask what if he wants to talk about it. Even if he does want to talk about it, we'll cut the interview. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Yeah, we're going to cut the interview. By the way, if you look at the set of my interview, it, you'll you'll recognize the set. Go on YouTube, type in uh, Stephen A. Smith with Bed David. You have to see the, Pat, the set. Pat, they won't even let you talk anything When politics. When you see our set, you're going to know where this set is. Just look at the set. Wow. Okay, look at the set. Look at the set. Click on it. I won't flag it. <laughs> Come on, Pat. You know what set that is? I see Muhammad Ali in the That's back. That's the ESPN set. Go, go, go up where you're showing both of us together like we're all... Sitting, that, that's Look the one. Go, go right there. Pause right there. Yeah. That's the ES, that is, you know that set. Yeah. Wow. That's the ESPN set. There's ESPN guys right on this side. Watching. Looking at me, <gasps> saying you can't talk about that. Wow. And I'm about to go into it. You can't talk about that. And Mario's like, Pat, I don't know what to do. Mario's trying to tell the guy, let him ask the question. Yeah. He couldn't talk. Well, anyway, Stephen A started talking about politics. I think Stephen A is uh, in a tough place. And, and the tough place I think he's in right now. He has, sometimes in life, when your philosophies outgrow your peers, hmm. 
and you become clear about your philosophies, but you're still in a community where your peers haven't outgrown those philosophies of victimhood, all this other stuff, you, you sit there privately and you have to make a decision. And the decision is this, man, do I compromise all my friends and the community I'm a part of to say the truth, stand up for what I now believe yeah. in, or do I keep these relationships? What do I do? And I think a lot of people, believe it or not, they compromise and they don't want to lose those relationships. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy place to be because you immediately become lonely. You immediately go from getting 79,000 likes on Instagram posts to 13,000 likes. Yep. You immediately go from getting you know 693,000 views on a first take clip to 173,000 views. And that's a scary thought, okay? And ESPN right now is getting killed. Uh, Clay Travis is saying that these guys are going to go out of business in no time. I don't know if that's going to happen. I think they're going to let go of a lot of their lower-level talent. I think that could pot possibly happen. And if you think about the companies that Disney is willing to sell, this is definitely one of them. Yeah, I was just going to say, who owns ESPN? Disney. They're, they're willing to sell it. So Actually, but, they're shopping it. Yeah, exactly. Quietly, they're shopping. That's how they divided the companies into three mm -hmm. different categories yep. yeah. so they can one by one sell them. Okay, Bob so, so Exactly. Wow. Bob Iger's a genius. So they want to sell ESPN because they've already seen the writing on the wall. But – you know, here's here's a crazy question for you. What's the opposite side of ES? What is the ESPN competitor? Who Fox is the Sports. <laughs> I don't know yeah. about that. Like Barstool I've and all those, all those little ones. I've never, ever watched. Like, I still till today we will watch ESPN News. I don't know if I've watched mm -hmm. any Fox News sports. Back in the days I used to when it was good. I don't know if I've watched a Fox News sport. No, it's one of the few monoliths. ESPN, ESPN Two, ESPN News, ESPN Center, Sports Center, ESPN Center, 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 Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Well. Look at and, number and, two. And, and, star and, Sports. And, and, who the hell is Star that. Sports? Keep going down the list. <laughs> yeah. Who the hell is Star Sports? Nobody knows. Sky Sports. I'm sure, Sky I'm sure Sports. NBC's four. got to be on this yeah. list. Yeah, NBC, yeah, okay, four. four. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Sony oh, yeah. 10. Never, never heard of it. it. Keep going. Euro, Euro Sport. Sport. Okay, now great. Now we're not even American. Neo Sport. Now we're in another plane. National Geographic. That's racist. Animal Sport. That's fucking racist. Animal Sport. I don't want to even go there. Now that's racist. Adam's right. Which Pat? Which I book? know. Yes, I'm gonna get fired. Pat, to my Can point, but just really fast. I know we, we have to go, but what do you guys think? Uh, uh, Kendrick Perkins's intention was to say something like that. Is it to get eyeballs? Is it to prove a point? Why do you think he would say that? What yeah. when you know it's false? When he knows it's false? Because Can I tell you what? Please go ahead. I will tell you what Charles Barkley had to say because that's a credible voice who speaks his mind. Oh yeah, he don't give a shit. I don't know too many people that hate Charles Barkley these days. No, he don't give. He, don't you know, give he tells a like this. Yeah. So he says argument between Reddick and Perkins apparently had been simmering for over a week, and Barkley said that he was happy to see Reddick challenge Perkins on his opinion. "Quote unquote." This crossed the line. JJ is the only person to challenge Perk last week, and I'm glad he did it because when I heard it first. I said, man, that's got to be one of the stupidest things I had ever heard. Barkley mentioned that race was such a touchy subject when he particularly bothered this about this argument. He added that the MVP analysts often don't analyze MVP races properly because they don't consider it a strictly, a strictly regular season award. Um, so essentially, Barkley lavished praise on Jokic, the MVP candidate, mm -hmm. again, and credited him for not chasing stats, something that he mentioned should be counted for the MVP stats. This guy, black, white, European, gray, yellow, Asian, I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. This guy Jokic is an MVP candidate and deserves all the praise and the acknowledgement he has I agree. received. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.